Oh, we're just getting into it. This is going to be a silly set no matter yeah. what now. The players were literally dancing off screen before. Well, yeah, Josh was doing the move that yeah. Mana and Popo do. So yeah. in between stocks, I wonder if Beckton's going to do it or not. Uh, oh, and then something to note, too. We were talking about just uh, straight handoffs in center stage. You can actually extend it a little bit more by doing the, the down air regrab. It's kind of old school, actually. The down air regrab, not true. You can SDI out. But there are mix-ups to it. Yeah. You can choose where you, when you throw Nana before she does the down air, changes where you need the SDI. So that's the second level, basically. Wow. You're a lot of local, like, early, mid-level ICs won't Ooh. mix it up. And that's when people are like, oh, I know how to get out of this. Someone at Beckfin's level will absolutely do it. Yeah, we might see the... Yep. What are we going to do here? So you are uh, you are allowed to do the three pummel rotation yep. beforehand. Or it's, three moves by Nana yeah, in one but grab but sequence. It's, it's Hummel and Nana. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the crowd is going to go crazy for this set. Josh smartly just taking the free Nana kill, follows it up immediately with that Popo kill. Because it's Josh Man, a huge fan favorite versus Beckfit, the local hero. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Connecticut's finest right now. Gets the split. Nana will always double jump back. Beckfit put on a ton of pressure though, made that much harder to deal with than expected. Yep. You're gonna get punished there for trying to go in on my partner there. Yep. I really like all these auto cancel bears that Beckfit is putting out too. Yep, F Smash getting Nana out of there. It's fine if she gets back to ledge. Just keep resetting. And now this is a situation for Josh to choose. Josh should have gone for Nana there. That's the problem. I think, I think you got a guaranteed Nana kill. That was... Yeah, crazy desync. Looking for the down tilt from Sopo to link it to a Nana aerial. Often my experience is that sometimes you just don't realize Nana was close enough that she just does something. And the, the question is, can the Ice Climbers recognize it fast enough to react in response to it, not did they do the thing with Nana on purpose? Yeah, and that's what Beckford's so good at. Yeah. Just raw smashes in neutral. I don't know how he does it every single time, but he does. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the first movement. Wave Dash is great. And it, a that one was even a Wave Dash. He was just standing. Yep, I mean, but a, a lot of people are looking for it. And so if you're willing to do a lot of other things, it does open it up back up again. It's like, finally, you stop looking for it, so I'm not going to. Yeah, and that's the second time so far Beckvin has actually gotten the edge guard situation, and Nana uh, yeah. is going to ledge hog, and it worked both yeah. times. I need to double check how he sets it up. There's a couple different ways. Slip hog is the fastest. I prefer the just roll have Nana jump because it feels more consistent, but it's definitely slower. Yeah, and, and both of the times he had ample time because it was a far Firefox. That was the only option that would work. Yeah, there we go. And that's what I was saying. The, don't let Nana touch you. Okay, I like that. Go. Just holding light yes. shield. That is so smart. I've seen Nana mess up so many people. Because the higher percent Popo is at, the more aggressive she gets. Oh, that was this, actually almost unlucky for Beckfin. Yeah, that's just, a set. Game, Ice, that's just game one. Ice Climbers get shined by Fox off stage. Like, say goodbye. There's very few times where they can get back because they've... Just, especially with just Turbo, they have like no vertical Popo keys there. Just purely side to side. <laughs> Josh just picked Peach then switched back to Fox for some reason. I don't know. I, it's just a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Beckon it, it, actually looked confused at first. It's the what if. Yeah. What if I do? What if I have a Peach? That would be hilarious to have in the back pocket. Especially when your Fox clearly can do it. Ooh, that was really good placement there because he got in between both of the climbers and Shine just naturally yes. splits at that point. Yeah, Fox has a lot of really good ways to split them up, whether it's drill into Shine, a lot of the damage. And then once you get him to higher percents, any of your normals will also start splitting just because one went way further. As the last game went on, it went from like veterans to like in the lead to Josh Band started like, okay, I'm picking my spots. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get hit by the jump check again. Yep. Yeah, that's There's a my key right there. Happy year. Are they there far enough go. right? Gotta hit the STI on that. There we go. That all happened. That started from the the up smash. We lead in at low percents. Happy New Year is the uh, forward throw dash attack. Okay. It's the first hit dash attack. And you're using the same forward input to do both. Uh, and then from there, we use just the world's your oyster. The crowd is just going crazy over Beckfin missing grab now. Like, they just know it's going to happen. The risk reward for Icy's grabbing is so smooth yeah. that sometimes it's honestly just fine. You're like, ah, I whiffed the grab. Darn it. Going to go for another one. Yeah. Whiffed one, got the second. Yep. Has to do the read, yeah. And that covered basically two out of the three options right there. It's very good DI to make sure, like, I'm going to take some damage, but I'm not going to take all of it. 
Ooh, I would have liked to see Beckin drop with the dare there, but it doesn't matter. It gets the grab. That Ice is, block. I spot jab reset is absolutely not true, but it works way more often than you would expect. Oh, Nana, get up. Yeah, yeah. eat some lasers. Yeah, that back throw ice block works on, obviously, no tech is what's going to reset. But also, if they roll in, they're back to where you are. Mm -hmm. So that's one spot is the, like, well, if they roll in, they're there. If they roll out, there at ledge. The back throw, uh, like, Nana oh. talks back throw is better. I'm going to stop explaining stuff right now because way more is happening. Yeah, I mean, Josh Ryan was just being patient, and yeah. when he dropped the shine, kept him split, and then kept Nana yes. occupied. So Beckton uh, just had to drop that little sad uppy. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, the stuff that oh. I did not know if that was going to kill. Yeah, I was worried when I didn't see a charged up smash. Yeah. The stuff that oh, man, I don't taunt. She was, she was really excited sometimes. I think we did it, Bobo. <laughs> I'm going to taunt now. That's the second time that uh, Beckman was reading not roll out. Yeah. I'm, even despite this, we've been very impressed by how well Josh has been playing on FD versus the Climbers. It's a very scary stage. Scary stage, scary, oh scary God, situation. Gets the read. Yes. And they're telling you, just the roll up smash. Yep. It works. The slightest movement, go for it. I'm very impressed by Josh Van's play that game. Yeah. Even, even with losing, like, the crowd's not on his side. We're hearing the veteran cheers. Wait, what? I think he's just doing what he's... Why, what stage would... I can't tell what they're cheering. Are they cheering Wavelength? I cannot... I, yeah, and they go sure quiet as soon as you try to listen. Uh, yeah, I mean, Josh's play was really good. Going into, like, the first two stocks, I thought it was going to be similar to, like, Martha and FD, where it's like, okay, cool, I got, Mar I got FD out of the way. Yeah. And I think that's why we're not back. Some foxes genuinely can... Oh, dash attack instead. Very cute. Nana's trying to jab. Nana's, <laughs> Do something. Nana's just trying to get in the mix. Nice read there. Double Should be able to recover up. on yeah. not roll. Yeah. The second half smash on a jump in fox. Yeah. You just don't respect small. Just yeah. don't respect it. I think my favorite is uh, against Falcon, where Falcon could just Falcon punch safely yep. on single squall recovery. Yeah, it is very funny watching people pop up for a Falcon punch. I'm like, no, that was that was guaranteed. Yeah. Please, please be nicer to me. <laughs> oh no, the uppy in neutral. That was an opportunity for Josh to take out Nana there. Oh, I like that. A lot of people were running and you get a, a smash attack, and so you just do that while you're decent and have Nana cover the option. And that's something that Beckfin does so well, is gets the read off of the fair. Knows the fair's get a meteor, and is immediately ready for the option that comes afterwards, whether Josh is text or not. Absolutely. Oh, I'm a little... Oh! I need to see Josh hitting the SBI in these down airs. I need to see Josh hit it, or else this is going to get real bad. Yeah, it does. That's a hold. That was so smart from Beckfin to do the long wave dash in, so the down smash on the mistex sends backwards. It just reset an edge guard situation that shouldn't even been there. Mm -hmm. okay. Clean this up. Oh, good ice block there. Like I said, squall, squall is not real. Don't <laughs> let it hurt you. You can just back air. Most care, almost any character can just cut in uh, hitbox. All right, what do you? Yeah, you got a double squall and buffers out the dare. Yeah. Even sings out. Absolutely, Josh found his spike in space. And if, if Icy's get between Fox and the ledge, they are in for a world of hurt. Yeah. Oh, so that hard. should be a dead Nana there. Oh. Good save! Good save! Gets the raw down smash. Misses yes. the ice block here. Nana is now at a, such a starkly different percent than yeah, Soko. Yeah, but... Doesn't find a hit, doesn't find a hit! thing is you don't want to rip a raw up smash on Nana yet because Popo can just take it for right after. Punish. Exactly like that. Exactly. Oh, high up beat or high side beat. We don't like that shy guy in particular. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Brought that back. Back to was looking in control for this that game. I mean, I think the, the first two stocks for Beckfin's easy. Yes. Didn't even things out, but I still felt like what Beckfin I saw was a, a shift with how Josh was approaching it, yes. where he was playing triplat a lot. You, you were kind of forcing Beckfin to do a lot of the uh, up tilt up airs. Yeah. 
up air auto cancels, but like you're still chasing after the fox, and that's always scary. I think Beckman's changed colors for every stage. Yep, so I think he's a stage guy. Okay, there's the loop, and there's the re-grab. <laughs> Only works on fast fallers. Yeah, and it was also Gosh. like good DI for Beckfin's sake. Gosh, you gotta hit the down, the down air SDI. I know, I know Beckfin's. Yeah, has he hit it once so far this set? No, he's not. Beckfin's doing the harder version. Like, yeah. Not doing the sloppy one. That's the harder one to SDI, but you gotta hit it. Oh, just barely out of S Smash facing there. Lucky for Josh. Yep. Icy's dash attack against Fox is so good. Oh, it's like Peach. It's so good. Yep. Like the fact that the forward to dash attack works, which I think we're about Re -grab to see again. after this. Oh, just goes for the reverse of that smash. Okay. So he's opting for the jump version of the, the Nana Hog. Yeah. Oh, you don't like the single one. Yeah. Low key, I know a lot of foxes go to this stage. Like, Transformation's awful for Icy, so they have hard time with the wave dashing around. I think the stage layout is phenomenal. I think this is it. I think that might be an infinite into the lift. It is. If he hits it, there we go. What are you gonna do there? Oh, it doesn't hold. I think on the non-transformation layouts though, Pokemon Stadium is like almost as good oh. as FD against a lot of characters. Oh yeah, transfer yeah, transformations get so wacky for uh, yeah. ice climbers. I think basically in every single matchup, Fox gets buffed. On like yes. at least three of the transformation, right. like but like Luigi and Icy's that are trying to wave dash around, and suddenly the ground is unstable. Yeah, and like right there, like when the the top of the huge, tin roof drops. Huge call out trying to go to the ledge. Josh has brought this back already though. Big damage. Going gets for percent. Nice Does another one. Oh. oh, gets the wrong hitbox. He had the opportunity to re grab there, but wanted to end it all. Oh! Grab ledge, no! I thought he was gonna grab ledge and down air. Hey, Josh yeah. Man, he's got this. He's just scrapping. Bring it to the last stock. We've seen Josh Man delete the ice climbers at like 10% before. He's not out of this end, but you have to hit this next repeat. Nice. Finishes it with the up air there. We are at one stock apiece, and as you mentioned, this is not that bad of a position for Josh here. He has brought these yeah. back. Beckton's command of neutral is really good. A lot of the switching up your wave dash spacing so that you're less predictable. Choosing when you play D6, because Fox can destroy a Icy's that D6 in a bad spot. That's the even easier to shine Nana away. And we do have transformation coming up. It might be wise to maybe like get Nana out of there and try to stall. Just going for Sopo. Gets the kill! One big win for Josh, man. I know on paper that should have been in his favor, but man, you are always terrified to play against Icy's. Oh. I get it. I get it.